time crunch sometimes. You feel overwhelmed, exhausted, maybe you're struggling a little bit with procrastination, I know. Or you're just, you have too much on your plate, maybe you have a hard time saying no. I spent most of the month of February focusing on ways to say no gracefully. And we don't always think about, um, you know, maybe you don't think you have a hard time saying no, but you do have too much on your plate at any given time. So there are strategies for how to prioritize one most important thing at a time. And that is really difficult to do when you're an achiever, when you're a high performing person, because there are so many things you're capable of. It's really tough sometimes to dial yourself back. I totally get it. This is, I became an expert in productivity and effectiveness in business because I had to, because it does not come naturally. I'm not naturally wired to be super productive. I am more likely to keep piling things on until I crash. You know, that go, 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 crash, improving myself, prove, prove, prove. And then I would, you know, I would get sick a lot. And sometimes that's still a challenge for me because <laughs> that's just how I'm wired. <laughs> I think you probably can relate if you're watching this. So, so this week's tip, I'm going to jump into that. And then I have a special offer for you, which is pretty exciting. Um, I'm trying to decide what, what I want to share with you first. Uh, okay. So number 17 on the 24 ways to save 24 hours a week is something that you can use every single day. And before I tell you what it is, I'm going to tell you why I added it to the list. Because when I interviewed 111 women running businesses on what skills and behaviors it takes for them to be successful in business, what happens when they get stuck, what advice do they have for other women, that all, if you haven't heard already, went into my um, recently published book, Lead with Moxie, Surprising Ways Women Are Creating Success in Business. Um, and beyond that, being a certified coach and working and doing mastermind groups and presentations and working with hundreds of business leaders since 2006 to help them achieve better results. It's not only about business, but I decided early on that I like working with professionals. I like having conversations that center around business because if you're like me, and I think you probably are if you're watching this still, the business is a vehicle for you to achieve your your purpose, your vision, your big making a difference effort. And it's it can be really difficult to juggle all the, the stuff, the, the life stuff and the business stuff. And we are all integrated. It is one thing, right? So early on, it was always a holistic conversation for me because every day you're leaving your legacy, your life's message, your life's legacy. You're, you're doing that whether it's intentional or not. So what I'm all about is helping you be your most productive self so you can be your most radiant self. You can achieve that very important vision that, that the business is that vehicle for you to achieve whatever, that, that thing that drives you and love your life so that you're leaving your legacy intentionally. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm just so excited. I got a little off track there. Okay, so this is the tip. Ask yourself, what is the best use of my time right now? What is the best use of my time right now? So because when I did all those interviews and I've helped all those hundreds of people, people have said to me often, I'm just, I'm just like so reactive sometimes when I have 20 minutes to myself, I feel like I don't really know what I should be working on. And I think that it happens because we're so time starved, time freedom starved, you know, when we're, when we get really bus busy in business and you can get stuck in that too busy, you know, when everybody says, Hey, how are you? Oh, busy. How are you? Oh, busy. You know, I think busy is the word. What does it really say? You don't want to be busy. What you want is to be in control. You want to feel more effective, more confident, and know that the important stuff is being handled. So when you have 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 45 minutes or even two hours, and sometimes you're like, oh, thank God, I just need to catch a breath. Maybe I need a nap. And that, you know, I am a huge proponent of taking cat naps in the afternoon. You know, when you get that energy dip, 20 minute cat nap, 
beautiful. If you can, if you can make that a part of your, <laughs> even once a week, <laughs> that will help you more than you can ever imagine. But I get it. If you're not immediately like, oh, I already do that. Or yes, I'm going to try that. You're like, I don't think so. A, I don't have time. B, I'm, if you're thinking this, terrified of people thinking you're lazy or not hitting it hard enough. I just had this great conversation with somebody yesterday morning and we talked about how you have to slow down to speed up. You have to slow down to speed up, right? I mean, that could be today's tip, but today's tip is anytime you find yourself not feeling super clear on what the best use of your time is, just ask yourself, just take a moment to kind of take all that reactiveness and that go, go, go energy. Just take it back down to a level of control and confidence. Okay, what is the best use of my time right now? And it might be rest. It might be eat something healthy. It might be catch up on phone calls. It might be jump on social media and catch up. It might be work on that one thing you've been procrastinating that will help you move your business forward. It might be something different every single day. So here's my challenge to you. If you ask yourself this maybe three times a day, if you feel like your time just kind of gets away from you, like you're losing time, you're losing track of your time, you never have enough time. We all feel like that sometimes. Ask yourself, what is the best use of my time right now? You'll know. <laughs> you're, you'll answer that question instinctively or you'll start thinking about maybe the top three things you could focus on. And then depending on your mood or how much time you have or whatever, you can get after it. So sometimes rest is the best answer. And sometimes it is exactly that thing that you've been putting off. So <laughs> I urge you to try this. A really simple way to implement this is to stick a calendar appointment or use whatever app you use for your reminders or tasks. If you can have it pop up three times a day, every day next week, what is the best use of my time right now? And let me know what you think. I think you'll be surprised how powerful this is and helps you take action. You'll feel more in control, more confident. Shit's happening. You're making it happen and that's what you want. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed this weekly tip. So now on to the special offer for uh for this week and actually what i'm toying with what i'm going to do with this i think the next few weeks um will it, this is going to be even you're going to realize how juicy an offer this is because so much more is going to come with this than <laughs> than i than i even realized when i started um thinking about it yesterday okay so it is five time strategies to unlock your freedom Five time strategies to unlock your freedom. Um, I've dropped a link in the video description and basically it's a masterclass right now. It's just a one hour and 15 minute masterclass with five time strategies to help you unlock your freedom. This is how to use your time more wisely all the time. These are five things that I use with my clients that I've used myself. Or <laughs> I said I was a mess in the beginning when I started my business there were things that I mean not having a boss it's really easy you know what I'm talking about to get off track no one's asking you for certain things so it's really easy to not do it <laughs> frankly right <laughs> so um five time strategies to help you unlock your freedom is a very special price for a limited time. And what I'm going to be doing is adding more content in there, making it more, um, you're going to have a lot more ways to implement the information right now. It's a masterclass. It's a really great price. I invite you to go check it out, grab it before the price goes up and you'll, you'll still lock in all the extras that are coming. So happy Friday to you. Grab your copy of, grab your access to five time strategies to unlock your freedom. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I urge you to try the, what is the best use of my time right now? Three times a day, or you know, even just once. Hopefully you'll remember, wink, wink. That's why I said, use that reminder app or stick it in your calendar. <laughs> All right. Happy Friday afternoon or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you again.